We're talking today about framing craftsmanship in lasers. We're talking today about framing and how the use of a laser in the framing stage has really helped our craftsmanship, our precision, and our speed. Hey, I'm here with uh, Bill Wood. Bill, how are you? Hey, Matt. Bill and I have been building houses together for about six or seven years now. <coughs> Bill is a carpenter. And uh, Bill, I wanna, I wanna talk today about the ways that we use a laser on a job site, see if we can help some of the, our friends out there watching this video. Basically anything that you used to use a chalk line for, you can use a laser for. A little bit of a limitation with some of the brightness issues, but um, you know we can we can level blocks, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you can set up your laser and run blocks all the way around a room for handrails or backsplashes or cabinets or whatever you need. And this is our study. So this is uh, these are blocking that's going to be used for a uh, base cabinet to get screwed in, and then for a countertop to uh, precisely. Back up to it. Precisely. Another good way to, um, to use your laser is uh, you can level out your ceilings. Oftentimes, trusses may be a little wavy, and we want to fur down our ceilings just a hair. And you just go around your entire room like this, and you've got a, you've got a bench mark where you can set the same level everywhere from room to room. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, house is a remodel, and the concrete surfaces were uneven. So what we're doing now is we're bringing the floor surface up with sleepers mm -hmm. uh, so we can get a completely flat surface all through the house. And real easy, just go ahead and set these sleepers up with your shims underneath and you just get your, get your reading and you can just carry that through the entire room. It really speeds things up rather than using a four foot level or a transom. Using the laser has really sped processes up quite a bit. Bill and I are typically doing pretty architecturally significant projects. A lot of times we're doing very modern houses where we might have a window like this that tracks on with 10 other windows around a huge room facing the lake. And we want to make sure that all the sills and the rough phase are perfectly flat all the way around. All we do is set up that laser. We can easily track around the entire room to make sure everything's nice and level. And then when it comes time to actually install those windows, again, that laser is super handy in that phase. One set up on that laser, all 10 of those windows gets installed and we can make sure every one of those is perfectly flat. So that when we get to the final stages of construction and my crew is back installing the finished carpentry or the trim, everything is just perfectly tracked around the room. That makes a really big difference. And that's correct. Bill, tell me about uh, pricing for lasers these days. 200 to 500 bucks, you can get you a good laser that's gonna last you a good long time. You know, we use our tools very often and uh, oftentimes they may not get put up the best way. Um, but they're pretty rugged, uh, pretty accurate, um, and they just they just speed things up for us. This one happens to be the PLS uh, 180 with the green line. We do like the green line a little better than the red, but it's a little brighter, and especially Bill is doing uh, a lot of times jobs where we've got the bright sunlight here in Texas, that green line can make a difference. The red ones are just as accurate, they're just not quite as bright to see out there. Hey Bill, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I appreciate your dedication to craftsmanship and all the fun projects we've done together over the years. Hey guys, if you uh, want to see this specific laser that Bill and I are using, there'll be a link in the description below to it on Amazon. I'd also love to have you subscribe to my channel. We're putting new videos out every Friday. And post a comment if there's something that you want to see Bill and I talk about on the next video. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time.